them in the vehicle here. And the cars have light. You know, as you're driving the car, you, you want to beep the horn. It's a, it's a bargain, to be honest with you, for somebody to, you know, to have their car inspected by a, a certified technician. And then in the back here, I still have this in reverse, and you can see that these lights are white. You have a tag light here, and you can see that the lights have to work to illuminate the um, license plate light on the vehicle. And your lights, your wiper blades, you check your uh, defroster, check your seat belts. You have to operate have to lock in place this and it cannot be frayed. Okay? And the gas cap is installed. All the lug nuts have to be on the vehicle. If there's five of them on each wheel they gotta have five. Walk around the vehicle and if you bounce on this car you gotta make sure that the struts and the springs are working. It can't bounce any more than, than three times. And then what we did is we lifted the vehicle and then we could lift and check the steering and suspension better. And yeah, what that is is an inner tie rod end. And probably the reason it failed is because this boot failed. We put it up in the air, we removed the wheels to inspect the brake. You would look here to make sure that your brake hoses are in good shape and there's no cuts, no bruises. We're going to take a brake line and you want to take the lowest one. I'm going to pop this off here like this. This gauge reads approximately 7 30 seconds or 8 30 seconds of an inch. Then we check the brake rotor for proper thickness with a brake micrometer. And what you'd have to do is go to the book and make sure that these brake rotors are thick enough for state inspection. Look at your exhaust. Your engine mount, okay? Is there any significant oil leaks? Look at your tie rod ends, your ball joints, your sway bar links. You have bushings here, and you also have bushings here. Look at that. And what you do is you come through here, you look at your exhaust, make sure there's no leaks. It's in good shape. One thing I didn't say is when you drive down the road you got to make sure that the parking brake holds on a on a grade. And you have parking brake cables here. And they also would need to operate. You know another thing I didn't cover was the tires. And what the tire tread does, it actually dissipates the water driving down the road. Some of the gray areas would be, you know, when you drive a car and you, and you hit the brakes, how bad's the brake pedal pulsating? Or how bad's the oil leak? The cars today are built to last longer. If you keep them maintained and you take care of your car, the car will take care of you.